Hey guys, this is Coop from Garage and Reviews, and today we're reviewing the MX Select MX55 Adjustable Dumbbells. Now we've done an entire review on the best adjustable dumbbells, including comparing these to others over on the site. You can click the link below the like button if you'd like to see that. In addition to this, we've got quite a few individual adjustable dumbbell video reviews coming out. So if you'd like to see that, make sure you subscribe. And we also got one particularly on this same company, but for their adjustable curl bar. So if you'd like to see that, Make sure you subscribe so you can see in the future. However, the MX55 is, at least was, one of the quickest to change adjustable dumbbells that's out there. In fact, this is one of the earlier adjustable dumbbells. It had some very unique features. I think in some ways it's been surpassed in certain areas. However, I do think this is one of the better adjustable dumbbells that's out there. There's a lot that are out there. We brought them all in to compare every single one on different categories from the amount of weight to how quick it is to change, dropability, all those sorts of things. And these definitely ranked high. The Core Fitness MX Selects are a good design. Do I really like them? Yes, I do. I think they're actually a really good adjustable dumbbell. Now, from the get-go, I wanna get into some of the basic specs. One is these go up to 55 pounds. I did notice that the new ones, they come out with a new pair that goes up to 85 pounds to compete with some of the others that are out there. I haven't seen them in the wild. I've only seen them online, so I don't even know if you can buy them. In addition to that, they've started to change some of the handles. So this style here uses a knurled handle. Personally, I prefer the knurled handle. It's a little thin, it's probably about 28 millimeters, so more like an Olympic weightlifting barbell than like a power bar or like a CrossFit general purpose bar. However, if it fits good in hand, and for most people, I think it's gonna fit fine. I like the knurling best. However, I do know there are people out there that don't like knurling. You know, like people that wear Lululemon are more athleisure, nothing gets Lululemon, but you know, you get the type. So. If that's you, you may like the new design. They say it is antimicrobial, which I'm guessing they're kind of going after the crowd that you know is trying to not get sick, which I guess right now is everybody. So I could see them doing that. However, I do want to say on this pair, and I hope they keep this pair, the knurling is nice. It's a passive knurl, you know, more of a passive medium knurl. It's not super aggressive, but it's there so you know it's there. And then it provides a balanced dumbbell. Now, one of the things that is often talked about with adjustable dumbbells is they feel very different from most regular dumbbells, like power blocks, for instance. That's a weird shape, right? Your hand's locked in there. It's got the cages there. Like, I really like power blocks. I think for most people, they're one of the best options. However, I can recognize that that feels a lot different from an open-ended design that we see on most traditional dumbbells. Whereas with this, there's no cages, it's free floating, there's plates on the outside that are very thin and then angled, and I'll show you why here in a moment, but it's one of the most balanced and comfortable type of dumbbells. Now, one reason it's able to be balanced is because it's a pretty compact dumbbell. So they're using these plates and they're like metal then wrapped in some sort of plastic. I think the plastic is maybe for some extra durability and to allow them to connect together, however, they're a compact dumbbell. So this weight right here is 10 pounds, just the handle, and then it goes up to 55 pounds. Now, an 85 or a 100 pound set, like that would be pretty big, but for 55 pounds, this isn't a super like massive dumbbell. It's a pretty compact, balanced dumbbell. One thing that makes it less compact is this little compartment right here, which is where the gearing's at, which allows the pieces to connect together. But the way that it changes, is pretty simple. There's these buttons on the side that you pop up. You have to do it on each side, so it's not like you just change it once. You have to change them individually, which can have an advantage, and I'll talk about that in a moment, but I think for a lot of people, it's somewhat of a disadvantage because you have to do them individually. So you pop this button, it causes the tab to pop up, which then you can then turn. One of the things I don't like about this little dial system is on top, the numbers are from one to 10, which are corresponding to weight increments. Rather than just putting the weight increments on top, they're just putting numbers. So then you just dial it in after you're looking at the legend that's on the stand. Okay, I'm at five, which then corresponds to 30 pounds. Lock it in, you then do the other one and adjust it. So 
It's pretty intuitive, easy to use. However, it's not as quick as some of the others that are out there. Something like a Newbell. Newbell is definitely easier to change. You just turn the handle and it goes from zero or five pounds all the way up to 80 pounds and does it very quickly. Now there is an advantage to this that other adjustable dumbbells don't have. And that advantage is you can overweight one side of the dumbbell head. Now I know that's not something that people often do, but I will say it could be a, like a unique method if you're wanting to do curls or something and you're wanting to overweight one side of the, the bell. So say like, for instance, when I do curls, I typically hold one side of the dumbbell, the outside of the dumbbell, because then when I'm curling, I'm having to force more, there's more weight on this side to curl up and make my hand perpendicular to the, to the uh, ceiling. So because of that, that is a way that you could offload one side. Same thing with bench press. I don't feel like that's a feature that most people would use, but it is something that is unique to the MX system. Now, the MX system does come together with a stand, just like most adjustable dumbbells, like Iron Masters. The stand is one of the coolest looking stands. I wasn't sure like how strong it would be, how long it would last, how stable it'd be, but it's proven really good. Like your hand, I don't even know if Kind of a beautiful look, more modern. I like it, it works really well. But then the other feature is how the dumbbell actually inserts into the stand. And this is where there can be some problems. Over time, I think it gets easier to insert. However, in the beginning, the way these little weight plates are attached is with these grooves. So these grooves right here are essentially just connecting to other ones that are in there. And then this hole right here is where you can see this little rod that's coming out. This is the same type of thing that the new bell's using. It's using it in a different way, but it's a gearing system that's basically clicking forward farther and farther and farther. And this is just sitting on here and then connecting underneath there. And then it's just, it's just holding it in place. I haven't seen personally or heard of anybody else having issues with these plates coming off. So I'm not gonna say it does, but there is a potential issue where over time, if this isn't fully connected to the other plates, it could eventually come off. But the issue comes in when you put it on the stand. Most of the time, it's pretty easy to insert, but there are times where if you're not fully lined up, you kind of got to like maneuver it in there. And I was doing farmer's carries with them. Once I brought them back in, my grip was just dying. I was like, how can I get these off as quickly as possible? And when you're like inserted in the stand and you're tired and your grip's worn out, you're like, it just kind of can get annoying trying to put them in there. That's kind of just something you have to deal with all adjustable dumbbells, but it is something worth mentioning. Now to one of the biggest questions, the price, this is not a cheap adjustable dumbbell. In fact, it's one of the more expensive per pound. At 55 pounds with a stand, it's like 690 bucks shipped to your door. In comparison to competitors, it's more expensive than Powerbox, it's more expensive than Iron Masters per pound, it's also more expensive than new bells. New bells go up to 80 pounds, and they're right around 750, 800 bucks shipped to your door, but it goes up to 800 pounds. So your price on these is, it's not a budget friendly option. Yeah, it's 55 pounds in five pound increments. So it takes up little space like all adjustable dumbbells and it gives you a lot of versatility. However, like in comparison to new bells, I think the new bells are kind of just a more upgraded, newer, modern version of kind of what the MX Select series is. Now that said, the other issue with these and new bells and some others is they lack upgradability. So there's no way to increase the weight that's on this stand. It's 55 pounds, there's no way to add more. Same with new bells, there's no way to add more. Iron Masters, you can always add more weight. Power Blocks, they go up to a certain, they have upgraded stages that you can add more weight to them and they can go really heavy. But these, what you see is what you get. So you need to make sure that you never plan to lift more than 55 pounds or you never plan to lift more than 55 with these specific dumbbells. Because if you want heavier weight, then you're gonna have to get individual dumbbells or a different adjustable dumbbell set that goes heavier. So would I recommend the MX55s? Yes, they're a good dumbbell. They're a strong dumbbell, they're quick to change, they work well, they're balanced, and they're a decent price. However, I don't think they're the best adjustable dumbbell out there for most people. I've used all of them that are out there, and in comparison to the new bells, the new bells are quicker to change, and they're also a little bit better price per pound. Bowflex, cheaper, don't go as heavy. Well, they go pretty similar, 52 and a half. They're cheaper though, they're 350 bucks shipped to your door. This is almost double the cost. 
and it's only two and a half pounds more weight. Power blocks and Iron Masters are both better options in my opinion. That's not to say these are a bad adjustable dumbbell. These are a good adjustable dumbbell. It's just in comparison, I prefer the others. Okay, this is Coop from Garage Gym Reviews. This is a pretty in-depth review of the MX Select. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Do you prefer these versus others? If you can only have one set, let me know in the comments. We'll see you next time. Peace.